It's no secret that I absolutely love soccer, both playing it and watching it. You know, it is the world's game, really, right? The beautiful game, as it is so often called. And there's a lot to love about it. You know, all you really need is some sort of circular thing to kick around. And I hesitate to use the word ball because, you know, you could use uh, socks, whatever, right? That, that's the beautiful thing, um, is that anyone can ultimately play and kick something around, you know, uh, whether on the street, on a grass field, in a park, whatever, it doesn't matter. And one of the beautiful things about the sport for me growing up has always been that I got introduced to a lot of different cultures, right? My teammates, because soccer is that melting pot, you know, everyone was from a different walk of life and it was really beautiful uh, to have my teammates and, and create that bond with people that I might have otherwise never really interacted with, right? And so for me, that is the ultimate representation of what soccer can be. And sure, you know, when you compete against another team, it can get rough and physical and so forth. And certainly there, there can be bad blood. Um, and I've, you know, certainly pushed people to my limits and stuff like that, you know, and been intertwined with scuffles and things like that. But it's ultimately, you, you know that there's a boundary, right? Like that you're doing this in terms of the competition, but you ultimately don't have something against them. At least that's how I look at it. And I say this because unfortunately, you know, um, in recently, there was an incident with Real Madrid and Valencia where Vinicius Jr. was subjected to racist, heinous chants by the Valencia Stadium. Now, if you're unfamiliar, um, basically both teams are Spanish teams that play in the Spanish Premier League, you know, the top league that, that is there called La Liga. Now here's the thing, this is not anything new to La Liga, this is not anything new to European soccer. You know, certainly Spain, in fact, is very known for racism in that way. You know, Dani Alves, um, a big, big player, you know, he, he's gone on record about it and plenty of other amazing players you know throughout history have kind of talked about this and as i mentioned other european uh, nations face this you know in terms of soccer but it seems to be very prevalent in spain and spain's not doing much about it but the thing of it is you know for so many years they've said well what can we do and you know literally just breaking news now um they've arrested the people involved in you know, kind of an incident of that, you know, the, and also there's an incident a while ago in January. Um, this is from something else. This was like a Madrid Derby and, you know, about, I think four people got arrested for that. And not only that, not only are they arresting people finally, but, you know, the, the Federation, whatever we want to call it of, of Spain has essentially closed down sections of the Valencia Stadium for five games, right? And they've also fined them and so forth. And so for years, they've been saying it's not possible and so forth, when in fact, there are actions that could be taken, right? And so I think one of the lessons is there's always something that can be done. It's just, are people willing to take that action, right? And most people are not. You have to push them. And kind of what what's... You know, I think this is the culmination. It doesn't just um, fall on Vinicius Jr. himself, but, you know, I give him a lot of credit for saying enough's enough, you know, and taking that stand and not ultimately putting up with any of it. And more so, people coming to his defense, right? Because people from all over the world, you know, both professionals as well as just everyday fans like myself, were talking about this, right? And it wasn't just you know, in the back of page six, like this was front page news in a lot of places. And even someone as, um, you know, so th there's the coach named Javi. He's the Barcelona head coach and he bleeds for Barcelona. He played there. He's a phenomenal, or was a phenomenal player. Now he's the coach there. And they are the arch enemy of Real Madrid, who Vinicius Jr. plays for. And even he came out and he said, you know, certain things transcend soccer, right? 
and you cannot treat players like they're not human. And that's what this is. You know, um, it, it was treating him uh, as not a person. And as I said, this is not something new, unfortunately. But finally, at least something is happening. And it's because of that push, you know, that, that insistence that this is not good enough. You know, both on his part, Vinicius Jr., and everyone else saying the same thing, you know, um, and fighting on, on his behalf. And that's what I think is a major takeaway. You know, we all have a power to enact change. You know, yes, we would like to see it happen quicker. Yes, we would like our impact to be greater. But when we come together, you know, change is possible in that way. And as I said, this is not something that's unique to Spain. It's certainly not even unique to soccer, unfortunately, and, you know, or sports in general. Racism exists all over the world. And it sucks because, again, as someone who looks at the beautiful side of what soccer can represent, um, you know, it, 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 I never, as I said, I would compete with people, but... Um, you know, there's a difference, right? Even as a, as a fan, when I watch my team play, I think there's a difference between booing the other team simply because I think the distinction there is, you know, you're essentially saying you're the other team. I want my team to win. And so, of course, I'm not rooting for you. But there is that line, that boundary where you recognize they're human beings and, you know, you're only che you're essentially cheering against them in this particular moment, right, in that way. But you recognize that they are human. And it's a, it can be a subtle sort of line, for sure, but it, it does exist. But when you take it to that level of racist chants and so forth, where you're essentially denying someone's humanity, yeah, it's just heinous and, 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 and it sucks. But... But we do have agency and we all collectively need to essentially step up in that way and, and, and enact change and not be dissuaded. And, and it can be tough sometimes, right? Especially like if you're in a stadium, let's say you're by yourself um, and, you know, you want to say something, but it's like a group of just angry, drunk dudes or whatever. Yeah, that can be scary. Um, but we all have to like find our own way in this um, and not just in sports, but in life as well. If we want to see, um, you know, the world more beautiful. And that's what, as I said, the, the beauty of soccer that it can represent, the reason why it's called the beautiful game is because it's supposed to, you know, bind people together in a, in a you know, as humans and transcend the sport itself. And that's why, you know, I want us to see our agency within that because it can be very discouraging and feel very hopeless and it's a great start i think you know what's what's happening finally some consequences you know but there's certainly more to do and more we can push for so i think the idea that oh you know in the past where people say what more can we do there's more there's more and that applies to all aspects of life so you know be relentless and don't take no for an answer in that way. Again, with a cool and calm head, um, you know, I think that's also important. I th but, um, and I'm not talking about, that's not a knock on, you know, please don't read between the lines of like, am I knocking Vinicius Jr.? No, you know, he's allowed to lose his head, right? He's the victim. Uh, there's nothing, like, there's nothing wrong he did because it's being done to him. I mean, us as bystanders bystanders you know um that have agency over all of this and can help him out so hope you uh take that message to heart um and yeah let me know your thoughts comment down below or hit me up on social media at phil svitek would love to hear from you um i know it's a deep subject very nuanced subject with a long history and not simple answers but I think it's important to have those conversations for those very reasons. Mm -hmm.